Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ariba from Iman Power. And welcome to another Facebook Live with me. Today, inshallah, we'll be talking about raising children, <laughs> raising the standards for children. So, um, inshallah, I'll tell you how to do that. But first, let's say salams in the comments as usual. Spread lots of salams to me, to everybody watching, inshallah, all the sisters, and get their salams too. So, Remember, every time we say salams, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us 10 good deeds. And the longer your salam, the longer your good deeds. And here you are saying salams to a lot of people. So inshallah, a lot of good deeds for you. So please do say salams in the comments. And uh, on those good deeds. We should never ever let go of easy good deeds. Right? That's what we teach kids. <laughs> so now you grab those good deeds, inshallah. Walaikum as salam, Asma. Um, that's awesome. First salam yours today. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. Just gonna want to give a few seconds for other people to join in and say salams before I start talking. <laughs> So please say salams. Alhamdulillah, I am well. I'm actually doing pretty good today. <laughs> Yesterday was a more difficult day. But alhamdulillah. I got to do some really cool good deeds last yesterday. <laughs> I woke up like really uh, not so excited yesterday. But then um, alhamdulillah. Um, I got opportunities to randomly help some people. <laughs> tiny good deeds, tiny good deeds. Alhamdulillah. Got to help a neighbor yesterday. And there was an old man who dropped his hat on the road. <laughs> and I, I feel like, you know, we get these opportunities. Like this guy, uh, old man who dropped his hat. And then I like, I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy he dropped his hat and I got to give it to him because I got to earn a good deed and that is like a gift Allah gave me that day right that a gift of a good deed that here you go Hariba here's an opportunity for you to earn some good deeds so I felt very good alhamdulillah and then yeah so I got a couple of opportunities like that and when I ha get see opportunities like that I always feel like uh, you know Allah is drawing me closer so it always makes me feel really good alhamdulillah <laughs> uh, okay Malikum as salam Nana Aisha Ameen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you too <laughs> okay so let us begin um in my mouth, is, I just had a mango. So it's like a third of mango in my mouth. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? So we're going to talk about raising the standards of our children. Um, so today, one of the biggest problems we face, and, um, you know, I'm doing this uh, free class for kids, Allah and His Prophet. And one of the questions I have in registration form is asking parents, what is your biggest worry? And one of the biggest worries that is coming across as common amongst every, almost most of the parents is the influence of the world around them. The, uh, the Western culture, the pop culture, from their peers, from, you know, and just different kinds of the, the media and so on, how that is going to impact their children, how that is already impacting their children, or how that might impact them. Will they be strong enough to, you know, and not be deviated because of that? So some parents are already going through that. The younger kids, maybe they're afraid that they know that that's coming. Um, you know, parents of younger kids. So that is one of the biggest concerns and it should be one of the biggest concerns because the truth, our environment shapes us, right? You are giving them an environment at home 
bit you know between you uh, their parents their siblings and so on but there is a, and maybe even the community muslim community but then there is also an, another environment that they are exposed to which is the culture you know surrounding them where all the things that we know that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has helped us guided us to see for what they are as filthy as evil as wrong they don't see it as that in fact often they see it as really good isn't it so how do we protect our children because this is what's happening the standards the moral standards of our children of muslim children growing up in good muslim families the standard is falling the moral standards of this generation generation after generation is falling because they see around them and they're like well she does that he does that sometimes they're even muslim friends are doing all kinds of thing so why can't i do it what's wrong with you mom and dad why don't you let me do this his mom lets him do it her mom lets him do it everybody is doing it what is wrong with you only my parents you know there's something up with my parents that they are just way too strict or way obviously then you compare to everybody else then you seem like you know um too strict whereas no you're not too strict you are just guiding them to the right way so <clears throat> often that's the case i'm not saying always but often that is the going to be the case and it's just going to get worse because the environment the pressures there are people working big teams in media in marketing spending billions of dollars to try to capture the hearts of your children to exploit them it's a fact do you doubt it those organizations whether it's video games movies uh music all these are working specially to target children 12 years old 15 year olds 13 year olds 16 year olds they're spending they're doing research marketing everything to exploit them and where are they taking them they're sinking them sinking their standards sinking their moral standards so what seems really wrong to you doesn't seem that wrong to them because their moral standards have been sunk so how, what do we do how do we raise the standards of our children how do we raise the standard of our children they see all around them examples of people doing bad we need to give them to raise their standard give them the example of the greatest role model that allah gave us the best role model for humanity prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that model who models that character for them how be to behave in a certain situation in a certain circumstance that will raise their standard if you want to raise the standard of your children this is not going to happen unless you show them the example of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you make that a part of their life you help them love him do you think it's achievable without that forget it it's not going to happen you think you will somehow more be the perfect role model for them you are not the perfect role model for them i am not the perfect role model for my uh, my students we might be really influential role models for them because we are closer to them in everyday life they see us all the time but the most the best role model the perfect role model for them the most influential role model for them is prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we need to make him part of their life not just like okay are we studied see watch the movie about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or we studied see it once and i know his story that's not going to do it not in today's world it that was not sufficient 100 years ago it's far from sufficient today most children today 
a l I, don't, I can't say most, but a big, mid, I guess, big, big number of students, uh, children. And I, I know this because I meet children all across the world. And alhamdulillah, in these classes, I've taught hundreds of kids. And this is, you know, even this trial class that I do, I've taught this to hundreds of kids all across the world. They started with even lower than this, the, the information they got in this class. They know maybe they have watched the movie. Maybe they have done a class in the madrasa, a, a little bit information about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Maybe ne, they know about the battles. Some kids are really good. They know all the dates and all the names. <laughs> but that is not the essence of the character of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu They are not really familiar with that. A lot of kids admire him. Admire him, you know, he seems like an inspirational figure, but not love him. It's a difference. If we want him to be there, if we want them to raise their standards, we are going to have to make him a part of their everyday life. So they see him closer to them, not just as somebody they admire, but as somebody they can relate to. So they can see, yeah, okay, this is similar to my situation, right? And they can actually model it, inshallah. So that's just a reminder from me for today that do not forget that. As you are trying to focus on the Quran and this and that, the life, the uh, everyday life of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu just his everyday interactions with his friends, with his neighbors, with his brothers, those interactions, how he was in them, that is very critical if you want to raise the standard of your child. Help them see what actually it means to be a good Muslim, a good human being. Because they will not, it's very, very unlikely that they will see much of that from around them. And the Prophet's character is so strong. Don't forget, it is so strong that there were people living in absolute darkness over a thousand years ago. And just seeing him once, meeting him once, took, enlightened them, changed them, changed them forever. That is how powerful his character is. Prophet Muhammad Do you think your children's hearts are worse than those people? Or they're like really dark hearts and they're not going to be impacted by the character of Prophet Muhammad They will not change. Their standards will not raise. They will remain the same. Do you really think that? I hope not. I hope not. Don't let shaitan deceive you. You don't know how great the hearts of your children are. Maybe they just need that light. Those reminders of who their prophet is. Who their prophet is. To connect with him as a man. To connect with him as a man. As a human being. Not just a great leader that they admire, but connect with him. Once they get to know him, know his beautiful character, this is the best of Allah's creation. Better than angels, Prophet Muhammad When they know him, when they hear these stories about him one after the other, it is going to have an impact on their hearts. It is. It is. Don't doubt it. Don't let Shaitan doubt it. And, you know, why, why is Shaitan going to tell you that? Oh, you know, it's not going to have any impact. Forget it. Don't bother. Because Shaitan doesn't want you to take any action. He wants you to leave your children to rot in this environment. Their hearts rot in this environment. He doesn't want them, you to lift their standards. So he's going to say, oh, it's not going to work. It is going to work. He is the best man. Remember. Your hearts, the hearts of your children are not worse than the hearts of thousands of people who 
You know, even today, I'm not t- forget about a thousand years ago. Even today, people read the biography of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi and they just want to become Muslim just because of that. Just because they heard a hadith, they want to know more about him. Like, who is this beautiful man? Right? So, yeah, of course, it depends on how we are communicating that with, to them. Right? That's really important. The how do we teach children that? Um, that's a very significant part of it. But... Uh, you know, let's not give up on our kids. Okay, I've talked for quite a long. <laughs> I get really passionate about it because I really believe this is a very, very important part um, of raising good, righteous Muslims today that we can't close our eyes to that and just give up on that. Okay, Jazakallah Khair. I hope you really benefited. And if you benefited, then you must let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'm remember I'm also doing a free class for children. I hardly ever do this, but Alhamdulillah, this time well, this year I've done it twice. So um, twice, yeah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So Allah and His Prophet, I will be sharing some powerful stories and connecting, making them relatable to the lives of children today, helping them love Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and actually learn from his models so they can model it in their lives. Um, it's a free class. Uh, it's a trial class for sort of upcoming course. It's called Allah and His Prophet. And the link for that, I will put it in the comments, but it's on my Facebook page, Iman Power Facebook page. So go look it up. And uh, let's just see comments here. Wa alaikum as Hakima, Farida. Uh... Shahla wa alaikum as salam. Shahla said, need some help. What do you need help with? Shahla. Uh, Vicky Cohen, a very good message. Alhamdulillah. Wa alaikum as salam. Safina. Okay, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, you know, uh, that you guys watch the video. Remember that this is also uh, not a coincidence. You know, we started today with something about that. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah brought this message, you know, brought you uh, to this message if it benefits you. So, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. That He, um, you know, gave you the time when you came across this video. That, that if you benefited from it, then Alhamdulillah, it was a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, um, Alhamdulillah, Asma. I'm glad. Okay, Jazakallah khair, everybody. See you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum.